So in this video, we are going to learn about append and concat function that present in pandas data frame. So first I imported pandas as pd. Now I created one data frame where index I provided 0, 1, 2, 3. And I created second data frame with that index 4, 5, 6 with same column a, b, c, d with different column values. And similarly, I created data frame 3 as well. So now when I put that pd.concatenate data frame 1, 2, and 3, we can see all its arrange in a row wise by default. So concatenate by default will work for row wise and it displaying all based on that index it's concatenated. So if we go and put that axis equals to one, as we know that we have to access zero and one. So by default it's zero. So it's rows by operator now one with then column wise operator. So we can see now what it's happening now it's creating for the other a b c d and again a b c d for all three data frame and it's uh, putting that again on the index of four because it's started if we go for two so started on index four five six and this is eight nine ten eleven so the third one started eight nine ten eleven and all the other places it's n n is going to display if you put that x is equals to one and by default x is equals to zero so now I created one more to understand that clearly one more data frame D4 where I have used that different column name B, D and F with index 2, 3, 6 and 7. So now here I try to create with axis equals to 1 so that we can understand how this axis 1 going to work. So here we can see that all of them are with the index it's work. So similarly see here now since we have 2, 3, 6 and 7. 2, 3 is common in between them. So here B, D, F is now created new column. And then index 2 and 3, we got that B2, D2 and uh, F2. And similarly, B3, D3 and F3. And on 6 and 7, we got that 6 and 7. So it's basically going to concatenate based on that index number, whatever we have provided. Similarly, if we go for the append, so I'm appending now data frame one with data frame two. So it's by default going to work as zero. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's appended. And similarly, I did for concat as well. So see, there is no difference between append and concat here, since both of them are working on axis equals to zero. So it's same output we will get from both of them. So now to understand clearly, I appending one with that four. So as we know in four, we have different index, some of them matching, some of them is not matching. So we saw that here again, two, two, three, six, seven is there. So it's created one new again index since that name is here, it's matching. So on two, it's displaying for D column for F column, it's blank. And here for C for B column, we have two. So it's displaying on two, three, since this one is on row operator. So we have to repeat, we cannot provide here more than one value. So it's repeated here. And similarly, it's happened for concat as well. So if we go for data frame one and four concat, so we can see how it's working. We already know that how it's going to work. So it's concatenated based on index and it is playing correctly. So I will give you one thing. See here in pandas, we have append, but here there is no axis. But if we go to concat, we have axis zero and one. So all those details are here. If you come to here, Jupyter node, we know that axis zero represent row and one represent column. So as we know that append only work on axis zero and we cannot change it because we don't have any parameter to work on append with that axis zero and one. But we have that option in concat and there are some more features in concat as well. So we can achieve all those functionality with append and concat, but concat have some more features. Yeah. So that's all for this. Thank you.